Today we are looking at the case by Inwin. It's called the 101. And without further ado, we're going to do a quick unboxing. Wow, this case is absolutely amazing. It features a George's tempered glass side panel. And as you can see, I've got the black version, but this case is also available in white. But before we look inside the case, let's see what the outside features. On the top, the case has a matte black finish. And on the right side at the top, we have our front panel connectors including two USB 3.0 ports, an audio jack for import and out port. This is the other side of the case. It has some vertical orientated um, honeycomb design to exhaust air. The front is completely solid but on the top there is this in-win logo which lights up red along with the secret power button. The case weighs about seven and a half kilograms. It is 445 millimeters high, about 220 millimeters wide and has an overall depth of 480 millimeters. On the back side we see a top mounted PSU. Your typical motherboard I.O. shield, space for a 120mm fan and 7 PCIe expansion slots. The case stands on two plastic feet and a huge dust filter on the bottom is also included. Conveniently removable from the side. Now it's time for the interior design and layout. Um, to get inside the case you need to remove these two Thumb screws that are removable completely toolless, as you can see here. Let's open it up. And getting it back on is as simple as getting it off. Just align it at the bottom and put it back in place. This is the accessory box that comes with the case. Inside of here we have some screws, some fan screws, motherboard standoffs, a GPU support bracket, some black zip ties, as well as a user manual in different languages. The case features a top mounted PSU up to 200 millimeters length. You can mount two mechanical hard drives in this position. It supports motherboards up to ATX form factor and graphics cards up to 305 millimeter in length. And if you do not mount any radiator on the side, you pretty much have unlimited space for your graphics card. Speaking of radiator and fans, uh, the case does not come with any fans pre-installed. However, you can mount three 120mm fans on the bottom, two on the side. On this bracket, it is completely removable by the way, and one fan at the rear. As I mentioned, the radiator support, you can mount a 360 mm rad on the bottom, a 240 mm rad on the side here, and also, if you like, a 120 mm rad on the back. And this is the main reason why I bought this case, because it has an amazing tempered glass side panel, and we want to do a completely 
custom water cooling loop inside of here. And this is my old case, it's the Fractal Design Defined Nano S. It's an amazing case, but it doesn't feature tempered glass side panel. And what we're going to do now is swapping all the parts from here into the new in-win case. I have finished the build right now. Everything went better than expected and I haven't had any issues while building in the case. Thankfully, there were no leaks in the loop as well. At the end of this video, I just want to tell you some things that I noticed and that might be interesting for you. At first, I would recommend this case for everyone, especially at that price point. Building the PC and the water cooling loop was easy, cable management too. But keep in mind that from my point of view there is not enough clearance to install a 360 rad on the bottom and a 240 on the side with fans attached. I have slim rads by EK Wildblocks and this combo won't fit. The hard drive cage is not well rubberized so you will hear your drives. However, the overall noise level in this case is quite good. With the top mounted power supply your cables might not reach your graphics card when routed from behind the board. You might have the same issue with the front panel connectors on an ATX board. So that are all the negative sides. I like the case. Do you like it too? Or do you have any questions? Let me know in the comment section. That's all I wanted to show you. Have a good day and goodbye.